what can wash away my sins your sins our sins there's nothing but the blood of jesus the blood that was shed on calvary cross the blood that brought salvation unto us is the blood of jesus nothing nothing but the blood of jesus only the shed blood of our lord jesus christ it's only the blood the blood the blood the blood nothing but the blood of jesus oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow in the name of jesus Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And all of us, your sins. That makes me wild as more That I found right now Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus Oh, there is nothing, it's only one thing, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ I see nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. So by my cleansing this, oh Jesus. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And all of us, your peace have flowed. That makes me white as snow, and oh, what a feels! I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood, the shed blood of our Lord Jesus. Oh yes, there is nothing. It's only one thing. Greetings, I so for Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And all precious is our No, no, and I know, I know, yes, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes, I'm on that is all. Only the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing us before your presence. The word says your presence, there is fullness and joy. We pray the Lord you minister to us. Speak to us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody that is watching us, once again I bring you greetings. In the name of the Father, my prayer is that the Lord will bless you. He will cause his word to come to pass in your life. Wherever you are watching us in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And give you peace in the name of Jesus. One day our Jesus will come. Whether you like it or not. Whether you believe it or not. Our Jesus will come. 
The Bible says he's coming and he has his reward in his hand. Our Jesus is coming and he has his reward. One day he will sit upon his throne and judge us. It is my prayer, child of God, my brother, my sister, that when he comes in his glory, he will find us faithful. It is not what you think. It is not what somebody is saying. It is what the word of God says greetings to you. Uh, our brother Stephen Tete, made sick. Our Jesus is coming. And he has his reward. I continue, the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle. Every battle that you are before, everything that you are fighting, the child of God, it belongs to the Lord. Proverbs 21, 31 says that horses are made ready for battle. Meaning that we make horses ready for battle. But in life, victory belongs to God. That is what the Bible says. And so meaning that it is God who brings victory. If you are seeking for victory on this earth, my prayer is that you look to the Lord. Psalm, Psalm 121. He says, I will lift up my eyes towards the hills. Somebody, if you lift up your eyes towards the hills, say, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keeps thee will neither slumber nor sleep with God. He that keeps Israel shall not sleep nor slumber. Lift up your eyes towards the hill. Lift up your eyes towards God. And he will bring it to pass. My prayer is that the child of God, whatever you are going through, that you lift up your eyes and look to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says he's coming. And he has his reward. I don't know the battle that you are before. I don't know what you are standing in. My prayer is that you know that victory belongs to God. Victory belongs to God. Somebody says that losses or pains or troubles move together with lesson and blessing. They move in a convoy. They move together. But if we are able to wait on the Lord and be patient, we will definitely see the glory of God. The Bible says in James chapter 1, in the verse 2, it says, My brethren, count it all joy. How can one count it joy? When you are in trouble, when things are not going well with you, when things are falling apart, hey, the Lord knows. I will every day tell you that if you know what God has prepared before you a minute or a second ahead of you, you will start rejoicing. You will start rejoicing. Understand that, that losses, lesson, and blessing, they move in a convoy. And so, some of the things that come into our life, our pains and our troubles, they bring lessons to us. They teach us. They teach us. And by teaching us, we become perfect so that we'll be able to receive blessing. Don't let your pain, your trouble, turn you down or cause you to quit. Don't let your sh the things that you go to turn you and throw you in the towel and say to yourself, that I have regretted, I have done this. Yes, it may be pain. It may be something that you, when you think about it, you cannot think. Because it is so painful and it is so hurting. But all this that you learn from it. And by learning from it, it brings blessing. The Bible says we should count it all joy. When we fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of our faith will get patient. And so, when we are going, it will get patient for us. And but they say, but let patient finish its work. After patient finish its works, let patient finish its works. It says that, that you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. I pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will understand. Somebody will understand that it is working together for your good no matter what you you are going through it will work together for your good the lord will bless you the lord will bless you let me go and read isaiah isaiah chapter 41 
I read Isaiah 41 and I read verse 10. And somebody hear the word of God. Hear the promises. God said, fear not. Fear not. Why? Because the Lord knows that in this world, you have trouble. Pay will come. Ten, the troubles will be on every other side. He said, fear not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you be patient. Be patient with God. And wait patiently. Yes, wait patiently on the Lord. By waiting, you, you see the glory of God. The Bible says in Isaiah 40 verse, verse 31, that, But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. By waiting on the Lord, the Bible says they shall renew their strength. And they shall mount them with wings as eagles. And they shall run and never be weary. They shall walk and never faint. The battle is of the Lord. My title, the title of my message is the battle is of the Lord. Just hand it over. Cast your burden upon him. The Bible says for he cares. Bring your burdens and leave it. The Bible says we should, we should come to him. Oh, he that labors and are heavily laden, he will give us rest. There is a rest in the Lord. That is what happened to the king Jehoshaphat. The king Jehoshaphat. The Bible says enemies pounded on Jehoshaphat without Jehoshaphat knowing. They were secretly planning. Do you know that we don't know the gathering, the meetings, the secret meetings that goes on concerning our lives, our destiny, our children's lives, our wives, our husbands' lives, our mothers and our fathers' lives within the spiritual realm. Nobody knows except the demonic kingdom. That is why God says we should not fear. My brother, my sister, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That is my prayer for you. That you know that the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. That is why the Bible says, Therefore I have not seen, neither ear had, have, have it entered into the heart of man, what God has prepared. But this is one thing. He has been revealed to us by the Spirit of God. The Spirit that searches all things. Hope in the Lord and believe in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. The Bible says, came to pass when the, the children of Moab, the children of Ammon, and the others joined together and came against Jehoshaphat. All that Jehoshaphat realized, somebody came and told Jehoshaphat, an army is coming on you. The enemy don't want to see you rest. The enemy don't want you to, <laughs> to be in peace. The enemy don't want you to smile. Don't want to see anything. I pray in the name of Jesus, in this generation, in this last generation, Christians who are living righteous life, faithful life, are the ones that are suffering. Because the enemy will fight you. The enemy will fight you. But let me tell you, you win. Just walk in integrity, walk in faithfulness. The Bible says it is God who ordered the steps of the righteous. When your ways pleases you, he will order your steps. The enemy pounded on Jehoshaphat. But he knew what to do. The Bible says that with flattery they will corrupt many. But they that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. And because Jehoshaphat knew his God, he encouraged himself, he strengthened himself, and turned his face and began to say, God. Jehoshaphat began to say, God. In your distress, in your pain, in your trouble, when things are not going on right with you, who do you seek? Where do you turn your face to? There are people they begin to call friends. They begin to call friends. There are people they begin to call uh, close abides. Then they rely on either on the wife or the husband. And human beings can disappoint you. They can disappoint you. But I pray that God will ne never disappoint you. My brother, my sister, the child of God, our God will never disappoint us. Some Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. And let me read verse from verse 24 coming. Hear the word of confess. Let me go back to verse 14. He said, But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. It came to a point that Israel thought God has forgotten them. There were promises for Israel. 
Maybe you think that the Lord has forgotten you. As recently, months ago, I was listening to a young lady, a young lady, and that young lady was saying that there is no God. He don't believe in God. I don't believe there is no God. And the, the one who was interviewing her said, why? He said, because my mom and my dad told me there is a God. They took me to church and everything. But if that God is there, why I am, am I going through what I'm going through? Why am I suffering? And so, this girl thinks that there is no God because of what he is going through, my brother, my sister. It is not what you think. It is not what somebody. It is what the word of God says. Hey, he, he is God. And you come in his glory. He will come. The Bible says, we be me and deal for a night, but joy comes. I pray in the name of Jesus. Israel thought that God has forsaken them. He said, Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me, and the Lord has, has forgotten me. Then again, he said, can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of a womb? Yeah, that may forget, yet I will not forget you. And so the Lord is saying that, hey, it is it is unreal. Few, few women on earth will not have compassion for their own children. Few, few. But the Lord is saying, can a woman forget a sacred child? He said, yes, maybe she can. But I, the Lord, will not for, for, forget you or forsake you. My brother, my sister, the Lord is with us. Only if we draw nearer to God, draw near to Him, draw near to Him, and continue. Hey, in this world, Jesus told us that we will have trouble because the enemy, the devil, is roaming like a lion. Or he's seeking somebody to devour and to destroy. Jesus told us and spelled out the purpose of the enemy. He said he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And so if you, if you allow yourself, if he don't destroy you, he, he will kill you or destroy. I pray in the name of Jesus that you be, be vigilant. That is why the Bible says we should be vigilant and watchful. If you become watchful and vigilant, good morning, Stephen. God bless you. If you become vigilant and watchful, you will be able to see your surrounding. You give yourself a, a, a time and a chance to know and understand. My prayer, my brother, I says that, that you be led by the Holy Spirit. We are in very difficult times. We are in a very difficult time. The Bible says in this last days, perennial and difficult times will arise. I pray in the name of Jesus. He says, Can a woman forget? He said, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands, and the, thy walls are before. And so those that know their God, those who abide in the Lord, hey, you are graven in the palm of God. When God looks into his palm, he sees you, my brother. He sees you. The Bible says your wounds are before God. No wonder the devil went to, uh, uh, to, to God. To, he went to Job and realized that Job had been, been, been protected. There was a hedge around Job. And not because Job relied on God. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that you stand. Jehoshaphat knew where to go. Again, the Bible says that with flattery they will corrupt many, but they don't know their God. And the question is, do you know God? I am not talking about somebody who go to church. It is not going to church. It is not holding the Bible and preaching the Bible. It is not how people see you, but how God sees you. Joseph, brethren, saw Joseph as a threat, but God saw Joseph as a faithful. God saw Joseph. And so the Bible says, even in the house of Potiphar, where he was in slavery, God was with him. Where was God when Joseph was going through this slavery? Because God knew. My brother, my sister, he knows the end from the beginning. God knows your end. That is why the Bible says, everything went together for good for those who love the Lord and those who are called according to his people. Not everyone. Not everyone. Even the Bible says not everyone that says Lord, Lord will even enter into the kingdom of God. That's why I pray in the name of Jesus that you find yourself in the heart of God. 
your God will make a breakthrough. Your day of glory will come up, brother, my sister, child of God. Again, the battle is of the Lord. I am talking about the battle. Whatever you are going through, your problems and your trouble, you cannot prevent it. Listen to me. You cannot control what people want to do. You cannot control what people think. You cannot control what the devil will do. But one thing you can control is yourself. Is yourself. You position yourself well. Because it is not what somebody is thinking. It is not what somebody is writing. God will never consult anybody before he bless you. You don't need anybody's permission. There are people, no matter what you do, they will not, they will not realize you're good. All you need to do is control yourself and live righteous. Live a righteous life. Because the Bible said the eye of the Lord is running to and fro. The Bible says, shall a period be taken from the mighty, nor lawful captive be delivered. But that says the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the period of the terrible shall be delivered. For the Lord promised that I will contend with him, with him that contend with thee, and I will save your children. There is a promise for our children if we abide in the Lord, if we continue to live faithfully and do the will of God. Somebody will hear this and begin to laugh. Begin to laugh because he thinks that it is by his or his strength that he has everything that he has. He thinks by his strength that he wake up and go everywhere. I challenge you to go to ICEs, go to the hospital. You find human beings created in the image of God. And you find your situation. You come home and you learn. I wonder every day that nurses and doctors, medical doctors, because they have become familiar. Somebody said that familiarity bleeds the content of everything. It destroys the content because they see it over and over. It become, they become familiar and they think that it is not real. I pray in the name of Jesus. That is why I told you three things move in a convoy. Losses, lesson, and blessing. They move in a convoy. They are moving. And they are choices will bring to pass. It does not matter what you go through. Learn out of it. And by learning, it will bring blessings to you. He said, I will feed them that oppresses thee with their own flesh. And they shall drink their own blood as with sweet wine. And also flesh. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord. Hey, what thing I have come to know that God always wants to receive glory. God always wants to receive glory. That is why Isaiah 61 verse 7, he says, in the midst of your trouble, in the midst of your shame, I will give you double honor. May the Lord strengthen you. He wants to take glory from your life. That is why he did not go to the, Jesus did not go to the, the army barracks, did not go to choose his followers. He went to the show. The Bible says he chose things that are not Things that are foolish to shame the wise. I believe that you, know, that you will not count yourself and do not let people look under you and do not people cast you out. Jesus, when they cast you out, Jesus sees you. I every day say that I remember a man sent me a message that you thief, you sinner, you stop preaching the word of God. I say, yes, Jesus Christ did not come for for Jesus Christ did not come for for the, those who are who are saints. He came for sinners, and so we sinners have to preach. We that you think that we are sinners, we have to preach. We have to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord God open the heavens unto you, my brother, my sister. I am talking about the battle belongs to God. Second. Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. He says that not this also. That this last the perennial time, difficult times. We are in difficult times. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere you go. There are difficult times. Because Jesus said, Hey, the prince of this world cometh and he has nothing with me. The Bible says that when he was cast down, he persecuted the woman with the child. He, he was in a wrath. Go and read uh, Revelation 12. When the enemy was cast down, he came with a wrath. 
And so he's working faster. We are in the period of times. That if we don't pray even for our families, our children will not know. The next generation, no. And this generation is, that we have, that few knows that there is a God. I pray in the name of Jesus. He said, for men shall be lovers of their, their, their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient spirits, untamful, unholy, without natural affection, tripless, breakers, false accusers, in contempt. And he continued to list, list and offer truth. Let me be honest to you, we are in the days. We are in the days. Go to the social media. It's very sad. Every young and even you see few, few women, they want to portray their nakedness. They think that it, is a, it has become fashion. It has become fashion. And you, you go there, you, you find people who like it and are happy. Because if you want to train, if you want people to follow you, you have to, you have to naked yourself. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, that we understand in the days in which we are. But listen to what the Bible says that is very dangerous. In 2 Peter 3 verse 5, he said there are people who have the form of godliness, but they have denied the power thereof. But then we have Christian people who think that they are Christians, that they have denied the power. May the Lord strengthen you. May he encourage you. We be able to walk in righteousness. That when our Jesus come in His glory, He will find us faithful and say, "Good and faithful servants." Yes, you come. Recently, a guy, a guy, my brother sent me. Um, uh, yeah, it was Mister Sabote that sent me a video. Sabote sent me a video, and that video was a, a Muslim young boy who was converted. To become a Christian. You see, I, every day tells you. And let me be honest. In this end time, if you don't encounter Jesus, if you don't take a young go to heaven, you will not believe. Except you encounter Jesus. Muslims, many of them, they encounter Jesus. This boy had a, had a vision. He went to heaven. And yes, the people continue to say, I don't believe, I don't believe in Jesus. Because, because a certain pastor, a pastor is misusing the name of God, has made the kingdom a major nice. You continue to sit down. You continue to sit down. I pray in the name of Jesus that you not sit down. But pick up and begin to do the will of God. <laughs> I was telling my brother that that is the reason why some of us, the devil, don't, don't want our ministry, don't want anybody to listen because he knows that all that we will preach is about Jesus Christ. All that we preach is about Jesus Christ because you come. Our Jesus will come. My brother, my sister, begin. I am talking about the battle belongs to God. What are you going through? What is your problem? What is your cry? What are the tears of your pillow? Maybe you look around, you think that there is no help. You think around that there is nobody to help you. I thank God for his word. Some of us, we had nobody to help us when we were growing. But we had God. We had God, the Father we have come. <laughs> nobody can attribute it to his or herself. Let me be honest to you. When, when we were growing, from Ghana to America, we never had even one pastor that accepted us. When I look into the Church of Pentecost, a, a pastor that I can say this pastor learned us is the only <laughs> pastor Samuel Asante, only one. Now, recently I was sitting down and I was telling it's because the devil knows that there is something good in us, and so it is not who would like you or love you, it is what is in you. Because what is in us cause the enemy, cause fear, cause emptiness, and cause jealousy. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Only one pastor that I can look. And I thank God for few pastors that I can mention. Pastor Samuel Asante in the Church of Pentecost. And, and if I, I every day wake up. The dynamic Papa Bright, I always thank him, Evangelist Bright. And one man also love, Ebenezer Boateng. 
and the one who hold the hands and help us, Reverend Dr. Komado. These are the men that I can count. No pastor. No one. No one. No one. Nobody accepted us. But you see, they denying us. Allow God to accept us. And now, the kind of the truth says that, yes, my brother, my sister, I am talking about the battle belongs to God. I have learned to give everything to God. That has belongs to God. Just live your life and give everything to God. God will fight your battle for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pray. And only one thing is that you have to be faithful. Be faithful. Hey, I'll talk about David. How, how so pers persecuted David. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. I am talking about the battle belongs to God. Just know how to live everything. I am not saying that become foolish. Become foolish. I was listening to, to a guy on TikTok. He says that he, he, can, he he's not able to hear. When somebody is speaking, he cannot hear. And the guy asked him why. He said that one brother slapped one of his, his, his right cheek. And he remembered that the Bible says that if somebody slaps you, you turn the other cheek. And he turned the other one and the guy slapped it and through the ears and everything is blocked. I said, oh no. <laughs> the, what the Bible is saying, the Bible did not say that when somebody wants to kill you, you a life, you live life once. You live life once. Be careful, my brother, my sister. You run away. And so there are some people that think that, no, no, no. I every day tells you the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. It says, the Bible did not say, love your neighbor more than yourself. And so it's anything that will destroy you, will kill you. You refrain from it because you have one life to live. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehoshaphat head and one of the things that people who know their god didn't know like david when david came to Zegla, and everything was god whilst people were looking for scapegoats while people were blaming they were blaming and they were fine looking for david to stone david went before god <laughs> they didn't know their god i thank god a child of god in the time of your trouble your pain when things are falling apart why do you tend to what do you do? Depend. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes towards the hills. When it comes my help, my help comes from the Lord. It's only God. It's only God. It's only Jesus. Jehoshaphat proclaimed fast. The Bible says, Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim fasting throughout Judea. And all Judea gathered themselves to ask help from the Lord out of the cities of Judea. They came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O oh Lord God, our Father, art thou not the God in heaven, the ruler, and ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of heaven? And in thy hands is there, there no power or might, so that none is able to withstand thee. Art thou not our God? Who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people, Israel, and gave it, it to thy seed, Abraham, thy friend, forever. And they that dwell within, and built thee a sanctuary thereof for thy name, saying, If when a evil comes upon thee, as a sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, in this presence, in thy presence, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. Jehoshaphat stood before the Lord. I am talking about the battle belongs to God. I have come to realize that, hey, child of God, you cannot, you cannot fight your battle. Let me turn to Hebrews. Let me go to Hebrews chapter 10. And I'll read verse 30 and 31. Somebody hear the word of God. Listen to the word of God. He says, he says, he says that uh, uh, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10. Sorry, I open. He says that Hebrews chapter 10. Somebody let's hear the word of God. He says that verse 30 says, For we know him 
that he has said, Vengeance belongs unto me. I will recompense, says the Lord. Again, the Lord shall judge his people. Verse 31 he says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. This is a fearful thing. Leave your battles for the Lord and let go. The battle belongs to God. Joseph has stood before the congregation and prayed a prayer and referred God the victories that God gave to them. He stood and said that there is nothing that you, God, cannot do. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, child of God, somebody that is listening to us to know that God is with us. He is with you. And it shall surely come to pass. If you don't quit, if you don't lose, if you don't throw in the towel, but continue to follow him, your victory will come. Listen to me. Victory does not come on self of platter. <laughs> you see, everywhere you see victory, somebody has taken an initiative. Somebody has taken a step. That is why I, I preach that message, arise and shine. And after that, I'm preaching victory belongs to God. If immediately you arise, you set the stage. God will come and perform. He will use you to do it. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord God gives you victory in this life. Again in this life. You win every battle in the name of Jesus Christ. The Josaphat cried unto God and unto the Lord in the afflictions. And now behold the children of Ammon and uh, the Ammon Moabites and the Mount Sayahum that had not let Israel evade when they came out of Israel. But now they have time. This is, listen, listen to this. When Israel left Egypt and they were coming to the promised land, God did not allow them to invade Amorite. God did not allow them to invade Moab. God did not allow them to invade Mount Sinai. But these are the people that they considered that came. They came. I pray in the name of Jesus, a child of God, listen to me. Be faithful. It does not matter what goes on around you. Just keep on. Be faithful. God will bring victory. God will bring victory. I am telling you honestly. Hey, some, I was telling my brother. Sometimes we tell our story. People think that it is, it is not true. When you tell your story, people, people think that it is not true. No, 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 no. It is not true. It is not true. I don't know anybody who have been in America that have had more accidents than my brother and my, myself. You have an accident. Hey, every car you buy, it's like somebody follow you want to destroy. It's like somebody. Hey, hey, you wake up. You ask to wake up in the morning. You have done nothing. You go to work and say that we have fired you for no reason. But yes, the God will bring another one. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. <laughs> the more I grew, the more my faith in the Lord becomes strong. Jesus is real. Again, listen to me. In this end time, if you don't encounter Jesus, Paul would have not followed Jesus, but Paul encountered Jesus. It is people who encounter Jesus through your pain and your trouble. Then you see the hand of Jehovah. Nothing can take you. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I am telling you, we go through different things by the Lord. Monday, my brother woke up. He was, was at work. Nothing. He called him. Go home. But through prayer, God restored him back into another company. I told my story. And the man, of course, says, it's not true. I said, you, because you don't know. Again, listen to me. From the day we were born, from my family, from friends, every place, go to go to U.S. campus, go to uh, uh, where we live. People will tell you we were hated. Every friend that comes to us to want to destroy. I don't know. I cannot count one friend that came to us that did not want to. I have a friend. Walk with. He took. He come in America. He takes our stuff. Go to Ghana and put it and go to the shrine to destroy. He goes to the shrine. I was a I was a sour man of the because of the glory of God. You don't know. I thank God. But in everything. 
we have had my mother sister said he, uh, before said that he would she would do everything to destroy us but yes in everything that she does i pray listen to me my brother my sister i am talking about the battle belongs we know how to leave everything to god i pray in the name of jesus i am talking about living and allowing god to work for your life Allowing God. And when you do that, Jehoshaphat, the people, listen, let me go back and read and read it to for your hearing. Go and read Second Chronicles verse 20. Second Chronicles 20 and the verse 10. He said, Now behold, the children of Ammon, the children of Moab, the children of Mansai, whom thou would would does not let Israel feed when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them. And destroy not, them not. But behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy position which thou have given to us as inheritance. This is why the Bible says, I pray in the name of Jesus that any demonic, any wish, plans concerning your life emanating from your mother's family your father's family everywhere may the spirit of the lord crash it in the name of jesus the people that they led were the same people god bless you pastor Beniza and them man of god bless you so for let me show let let us be a light I, I, I thank God. I thank God. I say, God, I want, I want to, 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 to bend for somebody. I want my life to bring somebody to the Lord Jesus Christ. A battle belongs to God. A battle it belongs to God. Behold, I say, <laughs> and he said, Behold, I say, how they rewarded us. Our God, who oh, thou will thou not judge them, for we have. No might against this great company that comes against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes is on you. Cast your eyes upon him. My brother, my sister, maybe that sickness, the sickness you don't have any help. No, nobody is ready. Hey, you have spent all your money like the woman with the issue of blood. Spend everything. In time of your sickness, every, everybody become a physician. Everybody knows where to go. And so if you are not careful, people will direct you to wrong places. And some people will even laugh at you. They will laugh at you. They will laugh at you. I have a friend over here. Is there any problem you go through, you, he will turn his back and be laughing. Hey, do you know that your, your problem, the, the trouble that you go through, some people hear it and they are happy. Some, some people will rejoice. You will rejoice over. I was discussing it with my brother yesterday. Your time of trouble, your time of crying, somebody will be laughing. Because not everything that he has was mine. But listen to me. Hey, your test will become your testimony. Your troubles will turn around if you believe in the Lord Jesus. The battle belongs to God. He will always fight. Just allow him to fight. And you win. Just roll it over onto him. And say, Jesus, the battle belongs to you. I roll it on to you. He will never disappoint. The Bible says that our God, he sleep nor slumber. Live a faithful life, a righteous life. And continue to pray. Your day of glory will come. Be faithful. Be faithful. You see the glory of God. The Bible says that then all Judah stood before the Lord. With their little ones, their wives and their children. Unity is power. A child of God, listen to me. Unity is power. Unity is power. Serve the Lord in faithfulness. At times you come to a point that you see that everything around you is falling apart. But our hope is in the Lord. One of the scriptures that encouraged me, Genesis 39 verse 2. The Bible says, Joseph was in the house of Potiphar. He was in the house of slavery, but God was with him. Your troubles, you see, one of the things that many people think that when, when some people are going through troubles and pain, is because of sin. No, who told you? 
Who told you? One of the things I thank God for, that I will never judge, I will never conclude anybody's story. Because the devil even went to tempt Jesus Christ. Go and read Matthew 4. And verse 1. He went to tempt Jesus. And so as a Christian, you go through trials, troubles. It is not because you sin. It is not because of your mistake. It is because uh, life. Again, listen to me. Trouble or lessons. Trouble or loses. Threatens. Loses. Lesson and blessing. They always move in a convoy. They always move in a convoy. And so when trouble comes upon you, it is, it is not that God has forsaken you. Believe in the Lord. And believe a day of glory will come. One morning, you see the glory of God. One morning you smile. One morning you say, you turn back and say, ah, if it has not the Lord on my side, they would have swallowed me alive. Continue. Jehoshaphat, you know, the Bible says that in all Judea, stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. They stood before God because they know their God. They know their God. My brother, my sister, in time of trouble, in time that things are not going right, where do you go? There are many people, they, learn, they live and go to the shrine. These days, there are many people who are following these, these occultists, pastors, prophets, they are everywhere. They you go and they give you directions. They will, they will give you direction. Go and take this. Go and take this. It's evil. It's evil. If the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus cannot save you. I am not saying that you don't go to go to the medical. Go to and see the doctor. He gave you a medication. It's fine. If you go to the doctor, you don't go whereby a man. I remember my brother was sick. I say it every day. And my mom told us that uh, from Ghana. My brother. And this man of God showed my brother. To go to the market and buy uh, buy some things buy this this but look at my brother's face and say is this a pastor or oh, he's a fetish priest they all become fetish priests they are evil they are not of god somebody will know you don't want to hear you tell you go go after them you live to regret you live to regret because this we are in difficult times we are in difficult that nobody want to hear the true word of god nobody want to hear self lives and worship god live a righteous life nobody nobody want to hear i have people coming to me that, and asking me uh, to to give them direction have god not said anything i will not lie before god because even lie is sin right to lie is sin if i have not heard from god i will never come and stand there you sit down for somebody to tell you, enter your village, I went to your village, they are also sorry. They are not, they are not prophets, they are evil. You may not want to hear it, but you continue and follow. They stood before God. And then the Bible says upon <laughs> Jezel, the son of Zadok, the son of Benir, the son of Jehovah, the son of Matthew, the Levite son came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation and see what God told Jehoshaphat when Jehoshaphat seek the Lord and begin to say God God also has always a word for you God has a word for you if you live faithful if you do his will he always have a word for you I thank God that I know him and every day I love him more there has not been one day in America or days <laughs> I don't know I will every day say I don't know in America if Saudi Arabia America say I know who you can make a chill you can make a chill but yesterday our God continued to hold us and we continue to preach righteousness to every soul may the Lord strengthen you may the Lord empower you and then the Spirit of God came and said how can he or Judah Ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thou sayest the Lord, be not afraid nor dismayed by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle is of God. The child of God, this is my message. This is my message, my word to you. The battle belongs to God. You don't need to fight. You don't have strength to overcome them. Go to Zerubbabel. Go to Zerubbabel. It's not by your might. It's not by power. Your power, but by the Spirit of God. 
Just lay it on to God. That sickness, you cannot do anything. This life, you cannot do anything. Hey, the more they count you out, the more they write you off. God, God, God will count you in. Let the whole world hate you, but let God love you. We are people who counted as us. How every day tells you, how every day says, Bedu could be a prophet, Bedu could be a father. He was an elder, our elder. We lived in the same. Bedu could be his father, told myself and my twin brother. He had never seen any twins who, uh, let me say it in my language, because they did not see a future in us. Never see any future. In the church of Pentecost, they had nobody. Hey, when they were training people for drums, they would not allow us. They considered the casters' house, but of a true go to the church and see the guys now with them. Now in the church, every guy that left the church of Pentecost in Asia, we had testimony. I can offer to tell you. We had testimony. We that told us. They told us that we we were amounted for nothing. We had testimony. <laughs> I say it and I say it boldly. Going to my family. We that were cast out, some aunties did not want us to even visit them. We go and we drive in our way. I remember we traveled to our hometown. And it was so poor that we, don't, we did not have any food to eat. <laughs> that time my uncle had, had this, uh, had this uh, uh, meal in, corn meal. And we had to go. We had to go and sit down there. After they have grinded the corn and, and the cassava, we have to pick the leftover, come home and cook and eat. I am not saying somebody said, I am telling you, when trouble comes, All that time, my mother was praying. My mother was praying. My mother was praying. Live a righteous life. Be patient, my man of God. I said, I said, thank you, my big sister. Sister Adelaide, my big sister knows it. I said, sometimes we tell our story. Somebody will say, ah, it's not true. I remember I went to, a, I went to, I went to testify. And, uh, and I tell my life story. The man did not show it on YouTube and never show it on, and it took it away because he thought that uh, 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 this cannot be true. You don't know. Some of us, we have gone through hell. We have seen it physically in our eyes. But he always, the Lord hold us. I want to challenge somebody give your life to Christ. Give your life. Give your life. I remember my, my father's, my father's. The brother, their cousins. They told my mother, "You have, you have become a hen and bruise over your children." And told, told her before us, "Not that nothing, but because we have Jesus, because we have Jesus, come to America, <laughs> come to Houston, can go everywhere." But every place I thank God, the soul of our feet tread. The glory of God that flows over there, and the, the people begin to, to bow down their heads because the more uh, they persecute, the more they want to destroy, the more we get closer to God, and the more the glory of God and the anointing of God flows. I thank God. Again, let me tell you loses, lessons, and blessing, they move in a convoy. They work together. People who know their God, the Bible said, with flattery, go and read the scripture. They will corrupt many with flattery words, with problems, but they don't know their God. All they will do is be strong, be strong in the Lord. And being strong, you begin to do extra. You know the reason why God told Joshua, be strong and be courageous. Meditate upon my word. Don't turn left and right. When you do that, you, in this life you win. In this battle you win. He told the disciples, don't leave Jerusalem until you are endowed with power from on high. And when you become endowed, you win this battle of life. Listen to me. I've come to understand. If you want to walk righteously, if you want to preach the true word of God, nobody will look at you. A pastor told me, I mean, I've, I've had pastors, bishop telling me, and so for the way you read, the way you preach, nobody will follow you. I said, I, I, my prayer is that to lead somebody to heaven. 
I am content with the little that God has given to me. Somebody wished to be like me. Why do, do, why do I have to rush and preach false? There are many people in this world that wish to be like me. That's so why I, I appreciate and I thank God for. And we will preach the truth. Live a righteous life. I know that not everybody wants to listen to us. Because you do. You, when you hear, listen to me, I will tell you. Say, Jesus... Because when you go there, the, the, these prophecies and the prophets, they are all lies, they are sorcerers. About 99.9 .9 of them, they are sorcerers. Despite that, they are there. And they continue to prophesy. The church continues to be poor, poor, poor. And the, 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 the congregants continue to be poor. And the church, and the, these pastors are rich. I work with them, they come, and all they think about is the money they will get. After service, after their programs, they sit down and be laughing. And they'll be talking about the money they have. Uh, and they are evil. They don't have the fear of God. No, no. They don't have the fear. And they don't have the fear. I know one prophet <laughs> who have left and gone to, to, to the law school. Because he thinks that it is not fair. He wants to save his soul. I pray in the name of Jesus. Say Jesus, my brother, my sister. And live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. If we gain the whole world and you lose your life, <laughs> what do you gain? Remember, the battle belongs to God. And one day our Jesus will come. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord open the heavens to you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. We will continue. And we will continue the message. The battle belongs to God. And I will take you through the Bible. And you see the challenges that true men and women of God went through. But all they looked to is the God that they serve. And they won. It was not easy for Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Tell me about Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. Yes, sir. And so my brother, my sister, it does not matter where you are. I have never seen a light. A light bulb equal to the size of a room. It is always small. But it can give light and so no matter where you are, how small you are, there's only one thing. Allow yourself for the illumination, the light of Jehovah to shine through you. You come out. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Let me lead somebody. Say, Lord Jesus, today I, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. May you order my steps until you come or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. I mean, God bless you. A child of God, find a church, and not every church you go, you, you meet Jesus. I am honest to you. There are many churches, there are big congregations, but <laughs> now, let me tell you, let me tell you a story. Yesterday, I went to the shop, I went to a shop, and I bought a shirt, a very nice shirt. Bought a shirt, very nice shirt, and after I finished paying it. And the, the, you see, the, the Robert Graham, their, their, their shares are very expensive. Their shares are very expensive. And I bought it. I came. And then the Spirit of God, after I sat in my car, the Spirit of God tell me, did you check the, the shirt you bought? I said, no. He said, open inside. I open inside. And you know, <laughs> the man made Mami Water. Their sign is Mami Water. The Mami Water. <laughs> my maid and I, I was just sitting down the Holy Spirit told me take it back take it back take it back somebody saw it, it it's just a symbol <laughs> it's just a symbol you buy a shirt and, and the assign gram. the assign is my water say take it back I pray in the name of Jesus <laughs> in this world the world that we are living the devil is doing everything to steal it's steal be careful, my brother, my sister. When you tell people they don't believe, when three more thing, when three more thing, all they do is to destroy. He's doing everything to steal Christians and do everything, steal our children, steal every family, husbands and wife, destroying homes, destroying people's life. And now people are running far away from God. Go to church. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, let me leave you here. I have to run to work. I have to go to work.
And so let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your children. I pray in the name of Jesus, your people who have come before you. There is no other God. If you, you gave Jehoshaphat and his people victory, so I pray for your children, those who are in the hospitals, those who are seeking. I pray the Lord you heal them. I pray the Lord you encounter them. There is no other God like you, Jesus. And we pray for men and women outside, everywhere throughout the world. The Lord, you, you save your people. I commit our children before you that you encounter them in their bed on their way. As you encounter Paul on his way to Damascus. So we pray that you encounter. I pray for those who, who need the fruit of the womb. Father, if you don't come in, the wolves will deceive them. I pray that you say, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord God open the heavens unto you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I will come back tomorrow. Greetings to you, my big sister. And Sister Mansa, God bless you. See, these are the sisters that, that, that help us when we were growing. And so some of them, they know us. They know uh, we're, we're nobodies. Uh, everybody tells you, when you go to U.S. Team, where we grew, my father and my mother were the least. I am not saying we, they were the least. And so some of us, we were, we were nobody. It's through grace. God bless you. Bye.